Hello, my name is Mr Andrews and I'm the lead teacher for health and social care and also a registered nurse here at Featherstone High School. I trust that you and your family are keeping well and adhering to the guidance given from the government in order to help us all try and prevent the spread of COVID-19 amongst our school environment and also our local communities. Firstly, I'd like to highlight the symptoms of COVID-19. If your child or anyone in your household experiences a high temperature, that's a temperature higher than 37.8 degrees, or indeed if you do not have a thermometer, just to put your hand down the front of their uh, top to check if their chest is warm, they should stay at home. If you have a new continuous cough, and a new continuous cough means that you have a cough which is worse than usual and you're coughing a lot within one hour or you've experienced three coughing episodes in the last 24 hours. The third common symptom of COVID-19 is a change or loss of sense of taste or smell. If you have any of these above symptoms, you do not need all of them, you can just have one of these symptoms, please stay at home and contact either 119 to arrange a test or if it's in a medical emergency, 111 or 999. So it is very important that you access the school website where you will find some detailed information about what to do in different situations if you think your child has COVID-19. It's important that you refer to each of the scenarios. It's in a drop-down menu and can be easily translated into other languages if you require that. It is important that we adhere to these measures that are being advised from our government to ensure all of our safety. In the unfortunate event of one of our school community becoming infected with COVID-19, we will need to track and trace close contacts here within Featherstone High School. If your child is identified as a close contact, you will be informed and when collecting your child on the day that you have been informed, you will be given a letter. Please do read the letter. It highlights two very important things. Point number one is to highlight the importance of staying at home and what measures you can potentially take to help stop the spread of infection. And point number two, which you need to read very carefully, if your child then starts to develop symptoms of COVID-19, what to do and how to get help. It is really important that if you, your child or any member of your household displays any of the symptoms of COVID-19, please do not send your child to school and access health care as advised by government. Thank you very much. Please stay safe and remember to wear a face mask, wash your hands and keep space between you and others. Thank you.